Okay, last problem of the day. Isang bala ka lang. A door one meter wide of mass 15 kilograms can rotate freely about a vertical axis through its hinges. A bullet with the mass of 10 grams, importante dito, grams to ha. Mag Ay, sorry. Um, 10 grams to. And a speed of 400 meters per second strikes the center of the door in a direction perpendicular to the plane of the door and embeds itself there. So, um, siguro na, <laughs> nagbabarilan yung mga, ano no, yung, alam mo yung sa mga, mga pelikula dati ng 70s and 80s and 90s. <laughs> nagbabarilan na, may tumatama dun sa hinge. Tapos isang symptom. Okay. Um, in a direction perpendicular to the plane of the door and embeds itself there. Find the door's angular speed. So, the question that we want to do, determine here is what is the final angular speed of the door with the bullet embedded to it. Kasi nga, hindi naman lumabas yung bullet. Nasa loob lang yung bullet mo yun. Okay? So this is an example of a collision problem. But remember, uh, the hinge now is rotating. Therefore, hindi na sufficient dito ang linear momentum conservation. And dapat, ang gagamitin mo rito ay angular momentum conservation. Okay? Sige. So this, as I said, this is an example of a collision problem. This is a collision problem. And remember, ang pangat ang tulad ko, sandali. <laughs> problem. And remember, when we have collisions, there should be an initial state or uh, 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 the state of the system. The system here that we are considering is the bullet and the, the, the door. So we have a bullet door system here. And there are two states. Dapat may, per collision, dapat may dalawang states ka dyan. The initial state, let us assume that para madali calculations natin, we can always choose our initial state to be um, anywhere kung yung bullet mo kahit saan yung position yan. Pero para madali ang ating calculations, mas magandaling hanapin yung angular momentum malap nung time na malapit ng tumama or malapit na malapit ng tumama yung bullet dun sa bu ay sa buntole dun sa door okay so in that case this is almost equal and therefore um kasi kahit sa other position you can also do that pero it turns out na medyo hassle siyang gawin okay kasi magka-compute ka pa ng sine phi diyan pero dito hindi mo kailangan mag-compute ng sine phi you'll see why later so if this is the axis of rotation then um this is let's say this is given by According to their diagram, this is given by, by L. Okay? And, um, sige, sulat ko muna to. L equals 0.5 meters. D equals 1.00 meters. Um, the, small, uh, the small mass, the mass of the bullet is 0.1, uh, I should say 10 grams. Uh, the mass of the door is 15 kilograms. Note here, I, diff I use a different notation for the mass of the, of the door, which is capital M. Uh, and... Um, ang hinahanap natin ay omega. The moment of inertia is one third m um, l squared. Okay, one third m l squared. Yeah. Because remember, the axis of rotation is at the edge. That's the edge of axis of rotation. Mo. So that's the initial state. Um, and then after that, nung tumama na, sure, gagalaw yung pinto. Since gumalaw yung pinto with the bullet, so nakembed ng bullet jan. Ang tanong ngayon, if this is the vertical. What is this angular velocity here? What is the angular velocity when the bullet um when the bullet is uh, embedded in the door? Okay? So yon. So this distance here, the total length of the door is let's say d. And let's say that the particle ah, nakalimut, nakalimutan ko. Let's say that the velocity of the particle or I should say the, the bullet is initially at 400 meters per second. Okay? Sige. Question so far, sa nangyayari? Nagigat siya nangyayari, tumama yung bullet dun sa board, gumalaw yung door. Nag-rotate sort of yung door. Okay? Sige. Questions? May tanong? None po. None. Okay. Now, sige. So this is, so kung kapansin niyo, parang naalala niyo, di ba, merong dalawang objects. So, just a review from, um, from your FQ3 topic. So, Pag may dalawang objects, tapos nag-stick yan with some common final velocity. Anong tawag sa collision na yan? Ha? Perfectly inelastic. Yes, perfectly inelastic. Similar to this, ang ganun din yung nangyari. It has some, this two, this com, this, the velocity of the, I should say the angular velocity of the rod and the linear, and the angular velocity of the bullet, they're the same. Kasi um, nag-fuse into one yung 
dalawang ah uh, yung dalawang objects. Hence, they have a common final angular velocity and therefore angular momentum. Uh, this is an example of a perfectly inelastic collision. But instead of solving it using um conservation of linear momentum, we will solve it using conservation of angular momentum. Okay. So this is a perfectly inelastic collision. Okay. Um, perfectly inelastic collision. Let omega prime, I'll write this as omega prime, be the final velocity, final angular velocity of the door bullet system. Then we know that the initial angular momentum Li is equal to the total angular momentum LF. Remember, we're talking of the total angular momentum here, not the individual angular momenta of the door and the bullet. So this means that I have um, the L of the bullet. Uh, let's say I'll just write it as B. LB plus the initial angular momentum of the door should be equal to the final angular momentum of the bullet plus the door system. Um, they're both primed. Okay? Okay. Ngayon, but kasi nulat agad yan. Kasi, what is the angular, what is the initial angular momentum of the door? Anong initial angular momentum yan? Nag-rotate the, ayan, tama. Nag hindi naman kasi nag-rotate yung door, hindi rin naman nagka-translate yung center of mass ng door. Therefore, LD should be zero because the door is at rest. And hence, now what if the, um, what is the final angular momentum of the system? So this is simply equal to uh, the sum of the moments of inertia of the bullet and the door multiplied by some common final angular velocity omega prime. Because remember, the angular momentum of a rigid body is I omega. Ngayon, balik tayo kay LB. What is the angular momentum, the initial angular momentum of the bullet? What is the initial angular momentum of the bullet? But LB is equal to what? Remember, we will treat this bullet as a particle. And hence, ang formula natin dito, therefore, I am VR sine phi. Okay? You'll see this, kaya ko ginawang malapit yung bullet sa door. Kasi hindi madaling, para madaling hanapin yung phi. Okay, so what is the lever arm here? What is the lever arm? Here? What is the length of the lever arm in this situation? Of course, the mass is given by M. Given yan. What is the lever arm? Sempre yung distance from the axis of rotation towards the set, towards the location of the bullet. Now, ang inaasamagan natin, malapit na malapit na mag-collide yung bullet dun sa, sa, sa door. Therefore, this is approximately also equal to L. Okay? So, hence, I have just given by M times V times L. But what is sine phi? Remember, this is my L and this is my V. What is this angle here? What is this angle here? Perpendicular yan, di ba? Kasi nga, head-on collision yan. Uh, and given sa problem yan, na dapat 90 degrees. So this is simply MVL sine of 90 degrees. Okay, nakuha? Nakuha? Okay. Now, this can also be, and actually pwede mong gawin is, pwede mo rin gawin ganito. Malayo, pero ang calculation mo ng lever arm ay dito. This is my, this is my R. Okay? Pero, ang mangyayari dyan, iba yung magiging phi mo. So, the, my phi is, ang mangyayari, if this is my V, this is my R, this is my phi. And ang mangyayari dyan, babalik ka lang ulit dun sa kaninang situation na L lang yan. Yes. Ganun lang mangyayari dyan. Okay? But, uh, instead of doing that, we just assume that the bullet is very near the the, the door and um instead, para hindi tayo mahirapan sa angle, 90 degrees lang yung angle. Pwede naman kasi yun. <laughs> okay? So, thus, we have an MVL sine 90 degrees equals what? What is the moment of inertia of this bullet? What is IB? Ano yung moment of inertia of IB? So, this is IB plus ID um, I capital D omega prime. But what is IB? But since What's IB? Ano ang moment of inertia ng isang particle? Ano ang moment of inertia ng isang particle? Ano lang yan? 
Remember, for a particle, you have mi ri squared, right? For a particle, this is simply the mass of the particle times the distance of that particle from the axis of rotation. So this should be m l squared. Kasi kung naalala yung final drawing natin, drawing ko ulit dito, um, this is the location of the bullet. Ito yung total distance niya, which is l. Ito yung axis of rotation. Therefore, ib is ml squared. What about ib? What, what about ib? Ito ay, given yan, this is simply one-third m um, times the total length of the rigid body, which is d squared. D yung ginagamit na total length ng rigid body based on this given here. Okay? And thus, meron na tayong quantities. Hence, we see that MVL equals just the sum of ML squared plus, plus one-third capital M D squared omega prime. And solving for that, I have an omega prime. It's simply MVL all over ML squared plus one-third M D squared. Nakuha? Nakuha to? Nakuha to expression na to? Yes, sir. And then what I'll just do is to substitute the numbers. I have a 10 grams here times 400 meters per second times 0.5 meters divided by um, a 10 grams again times uh, 0.5 meters quantity squared plus one third quantity 15 kilograms times one meter quantity squared. And therefore, the angular velocity of the bullet door system after the collision is 0.400 regions per second. That is the final answer. Nakuha. Nakuha tong problem na to. Nakuha. That's how you solve angular momentum problems. To. Or I should say conservation of angular momentum problems. Usually naman sa conservation of angular momentum, perfectly inelastic collisions ang binibigay dyan. Masyadong mahirap pag nag-elastic nag collision ka dyan. Masyadong siyang mahirap. But of course it's possible. <laughs> Pero yeah. Questions? May tanong? Sir, confirm lang po. Yung 10 grams po gagawin kong 0 0.01 kilograms. Yes, exactly. Kailangan may convert muna yan. You need to convert it to kilograms, syempre. Kasi mag, hindi na consistent yung units mo. You cannot add them. Di ba? Okay. Di ko lang sinulat. Pero yeah, you need to convert 10 grams to, um, that's 0.1 kilogram. Questions? May tano? Wala? No, no questions? Okay. 